Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to incorporate mouse events into your Samsung Smart TV applications. So, before going into the project, I am just going to give you a little idea about why this mouse events need to be added to your Samsung Smart TV application. Because in today's modern TVs, most of them are mainly touch oriented devices. So, a touch based application or a pointing device based application will be more efficient to select certain areas or widgets in your screen more efficiently and quickly than that of sequentially accessing each elements um, through with the help of your remote uh, that is you will be using uh, to traverse from one element to the next based on their focus traversal order so that you can uh, so you will be like making more clicks at a time to access a certain element on your screen while well, as in the case of mouse or point touch based events you can select the particular element of the screen directly so let's go ahead and create an app that which integrates the mouse events into it so let's get started so open up your samsung smart tv sdk and in that make sure you turn on the samsung smart tv log receiver okay so i'm just going to create a new samsung javascript project and i'm going to name the project as um as a mouse events okay so i'm going to leave the rest of the settings as its default and here the ID creates the framework application for me. So let's go ahead and run this project. Okay. So this is the default screen when you run the skeleton app that is created for us by the Samsung Smart TV SDK. So let's um, go ahead and add some elements to our screen. So here I'm going to add a tip element. I'm going to name it as button so this will be my button element that i'm going to display it in this app and i'm going to add one more element named result inside which i'm just going to uh, 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 show you the exact event that is uh, like happened at this button so in the button i'm going to give a label as click me Okay, so uh, I have created two containers, one for my button and another for as uh, a result container that shows what are the events that are uh, ha that are happening with this button. So uh, let's go ahead to the style sheets file and uh, style this contents. Okay, this is my style sheet. First, I am considering my button element, which is uh, with an ID of result. So I'm going to set that position as absolute. And I'm going to set the width as 200 pixel, the height as 50 pixel, and uh, text align to the center. I'm going to center this button at the center of my screen. So, um, left 50, top 50, margin left. Minus the pixel margin top minus the pixel, and I'm going to set a border radius of five pixel, and I'm going to give a little graded background for this image, so which which will give you a very good representation for this button so for that i'm going, uh, using a site called css3factory.com slash linear gradients where you can create linear gradients without any coding so I'll just select a blue base gradient yes okay that would be over. So here, go ahead and select the WebKit linear gradient. The reason why I'm selecting this is that the Samsung based apps is powered by a WebKit engine inside. So only this styling is enough. The others are not necessary for us in a Samsung Smart TV environment. So go 
to the result and select okay now just go to the emulator and refresh so that we can see our button okay so here i'm sorry i have okay so now uh, here I'm just going to center the label of this button so for that I have to give a little line height say a line height of 2.5 Okay, it's kind of let's center, so I'm going to leave it as since it, this is a demo app. So let's go ahead and style our result section, which is obviously the uh, uh, message board which shows what are the actions that are uh, happening with this button. So I'll go and style the result, you know, to set the position as absolute. The height to be uh, say a 300 pixel and the color of the text is white. And I'm going to apply a border top and I'm going to set the position to bottom. Okay, so this is a bit worse. So I'll set the height to be some 150 okay i think that is enough so uh, let's go ahead and add the event the in samsung smart tv is just like kind of a normal web application any mouse events that applies to web application also applies to a samsung smart tv app so for click event, I'm going to use the on click listener. I'm going to call the mouse clicked function. Okay, so here in the JavaScript, I'm going to call the function as mouse clicked. I'm going to define the function here. So, function mouse clicked function 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 okay function mouse clicked so here I am going to set the result container content as say the mouse is clicked okay uh, so that's it let's go ahead and refresh our project so once you refresh the app you can see that once you click the div button that is my button for this app uh, say you can see that the result container will be updated with a status called the mouse is clicked or as i have given the function so okay so uh, next thing that i'll i'm going to uh, say is that I'm, I'm just going to add one more mouse event called say on mouse enter I'll give mouse enter function okay and I'm going to define that function and, uh, mouse enter so I'll give just alert Going to set the status as mouse enter. <coughs> okay, so let's go and refresh. Oh, sorry, this on mouse over. Oh, this is the function. Sorry, that was my mistake. Okay, so here. I'm going to uh, this uh, that is not mouse center on mouse over and you can see that once I bring my mouse arrow 
into the button the mouse centered event discard and also clicked the mouse clicked event discard so this is the method by which you can incorporate mouse or pointer based devices into your Samsung Smart TV application make sure that you have included the mouse um, option in your config.xml file and enable that so that you can your Samsung Smart TV app can accept mouse or pointer device based inputs so that's it thank you for watching